This is a House of Logic video on Proxmox and about high availability uh, functionality within Proxmox. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, uh, a machine uh, that's already running, a VM in Proxmox into high availability mode and then we're going to simulate a failure um, to watch it run somewhere else. So to explain the environment slightly here, we've got three nodes um, which have been added into a cluster, so the PVCL1 cluster, and each of those nodes is actually um, running in a nested um, environment. So they're actually all part of this single host where they're running as VMs. And this is, this is just for ease um, as much as anything else, but this is how it would actually work, of course, in a, uh, a physical um, node environment as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose this Pi desktop machine, which if we just go and have a look on the console quickly, we should see it's got a, uh, an IP address. So it's in the um, 192.168.90.61 um, IP address range there. And we are going to open up a PowerShell window locally. And we're going to use that one um, to do some uh, some pinging of it. So let's just drag that across to here. And we will do a ping of 192.168.90.61. Oops. 90.91 is not the right address. I will get it right in a moment. There we go. Okay, so that is pinging and that is uh, responding. We'll put a minus T on the end of it so that it does not time out. And we'll go back into Proxmox and we'll enable this machine for high availability. So to do so, you want to uh, find it within um, whichever view on the on the VM uh, um, side over here. So we've got server view at the moment. And we're going to go over to the more option here and we're going to select manage HA. Um, so we can keep the defaults. We're going to go max restart, max relocate one. Um, there's no particular group. Oh, we have created a pit HA group already, it seems. I've forgotten about this one. Um, so if I just go and show you that. So we've got an HA um, group already, which I set up on a, a previous run through of this. Um, so we've got the three nodes um, that we've got on the actual cluster. And we can see the memory usage there, the number of CPUs, etc., and the priority. So we've gone with PVE 1, 2, and 3 with priority 1, 2, and 3. Now, if I just, uh, I was actually going to change that around. I'm going to change that one to be um, priority um, three on PVE one and priority um, one on PVE three for reasons that will soon become apparent. Now, this um, Pi desktop machine it is worth mentioning that uh, the location of this, the storage, so if we look at the storage here, it's actually parked on our shared NFS storage. Now, NFS is not the most robust thing in the world, um, but it's good enough for our purposes for what we're doing within this home lab environment. So it's shared storage between all three hosts. You can see it there listed on shared on the PVE 1 and 2 and 3. So it's available to all three, and that's a prerequisite for your HA. So going back to what I was saying, um, before I forgot what I was doing before, um, we can go to Manage HA, and we're going to go with the uh, default options there, and we'll choose the group, of HA group, and then we're going to hit Add. And let's give that a second, and we should watch as that it gets itself added into the HA group. So it's saying State Migrate. So this is actually to do with the priority already. So it's looked at the priority. Um, within the HA group and it said okay well actually that should be running on the, um, the highest priority node so it's actually automatically picked it up and it's going to go and relocate it across to this PVE1 node and that won't take very long there we go so it's just finishing off now and if we go into the console view um, we can see that that is actually still pinging. So it's done a completely live migration as per normal migrations within Proxmox. Now what we can do, uh, so this is this is now running, this is now in, um, in HA mode. Now it's important to note, HA is not fault tolerant. So this is not actually running simultaneously on another node, which is some other um, HA and failover and uh, fault tolerance behavior that you can see in VMware, for example. Um, so there is not a secondary copy of this running on another node ready to be automatically switched in and enabled. It is highly available, but it is not completely fault tolerant. 
So what we'll do now to demonstrate that behavior is actually go and simulate a failure by going to the PVE1 node, or finding it rather, on the top level Proxmox. So this is where we're, we're running PVE1 as a guest, and we are going to turn it off. So we will do a simple stop, a brutal shutdown as if we've lost power. Now, first of all, that we're actually logged in to PVE1 here, so this is going to uh, actually time out. So what we'll do whilst that happens is we will switch over to the PVE2 node and we'll see if we can, whoops, I forgot to put the port number on, and see if we can see what is going on from there. Now, this being Proxmox, we can connect to any node. We haven't got the vCenter problem of it being a single admin node and being rather limited if you connect directly to ESXi servers. And we are in. Um, PVE1 is there reported as being in a unavailable or out of contact state. Um, and we can see it's showing Pi desktop on here still. Now, let's see what happens. I think it can take up to a couple of minutes. So we can still access our HA information on this node. So there we go. It's currently still, still saying started. It hasn't figured out that it needs to uh, say it's uh, it needs to move. The timestamp's up here. Um, I believe it's uh, L LRM is presumably Linux uh, Replication Manager. I'm not sure that actually what the LRM stands for. I presume it's replication, but it's certainly it's uh, it forms part of the HA stack here. Um, and it's saying old timestamp dead. So given a couple of minutes, I would expect what will happen is it's actually going to realize that this uh, particular machine is offline and it's going to be started up somewhere else. Now the, the HA group, if we look at the group and the priority. So priority two was PVE2. So I would expect that that should start uh, up over on PVE2 uh, momentarily. And we may skip ahead uh, on some of the video just to keep things nice and concise. Okay, so already, it's only been a few seconds since I finished speaking, um, it has actually said that it is starting and has gone to a started state over on PVE2, as recorded there. And there we can see it. Now, I will fully expect that this um, actual window here is completely dead. So it's not responsive. It is, in fact, showing us something via the uh, um, IP address of 225, which is the PVE1 node. So that is not responding. Now, if we go over to the machine, we should be able to find it. It's If it's not running yet, it's, it's starting up still. So let's click on that. And there we go, it has actually started up. As you can see, that window, which we left pinging um, out to, I think it was the gateway or to Google, I can't remember which, um, it is, of course, not there. So it has started it up. It's not something that has been immediately, in memory, swapped over from one place to another. It has been started up from the shared storage because the original node um, is no longer available. Now, uh, of course, what will have happened is that there will have been an interruption and you can just see it at the top there where it says destination host unreachable on the PowerShell window. And then we're getting some responses and we are essentially back to normal. So it has brought the node, uh, sorry, brought the VM back up on the fresh uh, node on PVE2, um, but it has not preserved the memory state, which is exactly what you'd expect from an HA rather than a completely fault tolerant um, option. Now, uh, the other bit of um, functionality that it's worth testing here, of course, is to bring the original node back. So if we turn PVE1 back on, um, it's entirely possible that it may move. I cannot remember the behavior. I have tested this before, um, but um, I have completely forgotten what it will do. I'm going to go and have a look at the settings. So that's starting up now. So if we go and have a look back at the, uh, so it's not, seen by the rest of the cluster yet so if we look at the HA group so there is an option that says no fail back but because this is a higher priority on PVE1 than on 2 
I'm fully expecting this when it's back up in an operational state to actually fail Pi Desktop back to its intended um, node, which is um, the PVE1. So let's come out of that and we will monitor it from the status information here. And in fact, there we go, it's already saying migrate. And I would expect in a few seconds, just as we saw earlier in the video, there we go, it's finishing its migration. So it is across onto the PVE1 host once again and is running. And of course, if we go back to the, the running window, we can see it's still responsive there. There may have been a slight outage or in fact a slight delay perhaps of a few milliseconds while it was failed across. But other than that, it's there, it's running, it's um, it's absolutely fine. Um, so that in a nutshell is um, high availability in Proxmox. Um, I hope this video has been of some use to you. Um, if you'd like it, please like and subscribe the video. And um, other than that, we will see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.